encountered leadership-hungry Gawker's block, Pinky. An incredible event is unfolding in Midtown Washington, D.C. at this moment. Abraham Lincoln himself has apparently come back, reincarnated in the form of the statue that formerly stood fronting the Lincoln Memorial. Gee whiz, I mean, first Elvis, now this? Yeah, it's wild, man. I'm in, Pinky. President, you haven't touched your potato salad. You know, it's, it's mighty good in the tummy. Thank you, but my innards are solid granite. And please, call me Abe. Well, okay, Mr. Pre... Uh, Abe? Oh, shucks. Well, tell me, Abe, what do you need to make your uh, stay with us more enjoyable? I need to take over the world. Abe, 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 uh, Abe, well, let Abe. us move forward together with tolerance, openness, and cooperation. Hey, how about I send you on a goodwill tour? Yes! Done. Look, America's report card. Test scores are dropping at an alarming rate. Many of today's high school graduates can't even read. Gee, that, that is bad. Worst of all, people actually think Polly Shore is funny. Biodome rocked my world. Hey, buddy. <laughs> buddy. We've got to host a conference to stop this dumbing down of America. We'll invite all the world's leading experts on the brain. Aren't you overreacting, honey? Mr. President, Mrs. President, I done tried to brung the coffee, but I keep it burning in my hands. You're supposed to put it in cups, Bobby Bob. Uh-huh. I rest my case. Well, let me see if we got it any of them there, uh, cups. <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Bobby Bob. I've got something special for you to do, and it doesn't involve walking and carrying hot beverages at the same time. Good. That's hard. Hey, don't I know it? Would you mind telling me who you are? As if you don't know. Right. As if I don't know. Why, he's your guest of honor, the brain. I'm the subject of this whole conference. We're here to discuss the human brain. <gasps> hey, Dad, there's a human version of you? Oh, scary. You mean this isn't about me? It's about all of us. We need to stem the rising tide of stupidity in this country. Y'all done wants to add a cream in your coffee? Whoopsie. I rest my case. But, but I prepared a speech and my manifesto. Stop, clown. That clown stole my speech. Call security. Good idea. Well, that was particularly humiliating. Not so fast, thank you, or we'll... This is the Lincoln bedroom, Pinky, where all the president's closest friends sleep. Boyd! Ooh, we must not have many friends. Oh, someone's coming. Hello? Who's in there? We're big party donors from Hollywood. I'm a, a famous director, um, Steven Spielbrain, and this is, um... His lovely wife, Kate Pinkshaw! Y'all look a lot bigger on TV. Well, actually, Mr. President, we are a pair of escaped lab mice trying to stop a hideous plot to dumb down America. With clowns and hats and the schmierskerhoven! <laughs> hey, you Hollywood folks sure have some wild imaginations. It's imperative that I speak with you. Bill, are you coming? They're just about to start the Polly Shore Film Festival. Narla Rooney! <laughs> <laughs> you think Polly Shore is funny? Doesn't everyone? But Andy! <laughs> <laughs> Catch you later! Hey, and don't forget, Saturday morning's the big global Schmierska Hoovenathon for world peace. Schmierska Hoovenathon? Pinky, do you know what this means? Another preemption for brand spanking fresh and shiny new Doug? Even the president and first lady have been dumbed down. Unless we can find someone around here who's willing to help us, the whole world is doomed. Ah! Dangity! This part's a broke! Perhaps they didn't hear me. Who goes there? It is I, Ned Limpopo, ruler of Brainania. 
this is Hassan Lembeck, Minister of Finance. We want to join your club. Brainania burst into molten fire and was swallowed by the dark ocean depths. Brainania is no more. Yes, but we still have a post office box in Texas. Oh, oh, golly! Why didn't you say so? Hey, come on in, y'all. Nee, nee. Now, to the secret vault. Not yet. To enter the secret vault, you must wear the purple robe. Yeah, Absolutely. You got these That's bases. a given. Yeah. That's the rule. We decided, uh huh. And before you are allowed to wear the purple robe, you first must be tested. Yes, yes, a test. Let's get on with it. Will it be multiple choice or essay? <laughs> um, may I ask which one of you is Saddam? Who wants to know? Um, we are from Ugly Persons Quarterly Magazine. In our annual readers poll, you have been named Ugly Tyrant of the Year. We hereby present you with the Already Been Chewed Gumball Award in honor of your achievement. Congratulations, Zod! I have never won anything before. Thank you so much. <sighs> Come on in and have some pork rinds. What are your names? I'm a doofus. Ah, uh, you're a dweeb. <gasps> Did you hear that, fellas? He called me a dweeb. No, that's my pledge name. You're a dweeb. I'm a doofus. <laughs> Pledges, fun, fun, silly, willy. <laughs> it's like getting bobbed on the head, but more so. Two points lower on the IQ chart, and you'd be a doorknob, Pinky. <laughs> I'm a doofus. Congratulations, Pledges. You have passed the first test. You should be rewarded for your good work. With entrance to the sacred vault? No, or something even better. <laughs> 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 Somebody, please tell me what this has to do with joining the world's most elite club. You dare question the sacred rites set down by the ancient ones? Yeah, we had to do this, so you gotta do it too. Of course, when we all went cow tipping, we used real cows. But this is a Buckingham Palace guard. Well, the White House is toilet papered, Pinky. Ah! I'm a doofus. That's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> hey, uh, Brother Gangrich, would you, uh, care to dance? Brother Clinton, I thought you'd never ask. Merry Christmas, kids. Ooh. <laughs> Uh. Merry Christmas! Fröhliche Weihnachten! Now, darn wonder. Merry Christmas! 